When we think of the word hero, there are probably countless heroes from movies, TV shows, and video games that come to mind. And if you're an anime fan, there are even more characters that probably come to mind when you think about a hero. Tiger and Bunny does a great job exploring that with a multitude of characters in the films and anime, with one of my personal favorites being Kotetsu Kabaragi. Even though he's considered past his prime, he possesses many qualities that still make him a hero with or without his powers, and Season 2 did a great job of diving even more into his character. This is why Kotetsu is a real hero. Let's talk about his amazing qualities, his relationship with Barnaby aka Bunny, his family dynamics, and more. Fair warning, there are spoilers up ahead, so if you haven't seen Season 2 yet, go watch that first and then come back. Let's recap on what we know about Kotetsu Kabaragi, also known as Wild Tiger so far. I'm going to try to condense this as best as I can since I'll be covering his character from Tiger and Bunny The Beginning to the latest Tiger and Bunny Season 2 Part 1. Feel free to skip to the next chapter if you want to avoid the recap, but be warned, you may miss some important details later on in the video. When Kotetsu was 10 years old, he witnessed a bank robbery. One of the assailants was hurled by Kotetsu when he activated his next power. Thanks to this, he helps the hero Mr. Legend foil the robbery who in turn inspires Kotetsu to become a hero. Years later, he follows this dream, becoming Wall Tiger and marries Tomoe, and they give birth to a daughter named Kaede. Four years later, Tomoe gets sick and although Kotetsu pleads that he will stay, she makes him promise to never stop being a hero. Despite saving the day, Kotetsu finds out that his wife succumbs to her illness. He goes on keeping his promise, leaving his daughter in the care of his mother Andrew back in his hometown while staying in the city to fight crime, causing a strained relationship with his daughter, who initially doesn't know that her father is Wall Tiger. Five years later, while attempting to stop a robbery, Tiger's powers cut out mid-fight and he is saved by new hero Barnaby Brooks Jr. Kotetsu is informed that the company is sponsored by Top Mag, is bought out by Apollon Media, and his new boss Alexander Lloyds orders Tiger to wear a new suit and team up with Barnaby to take down the Steel Hammer statue. The team struggles to get along and Kotetsu is given one more chance before being fired. Realizing he may be late to his daughter's recital, he tries to reassure Kaede that he will be there. After not meshing well again, Barnaby deduces that the kid on top of the statue may be controlling it. Both are captured by the statue and Tiger breaks out of the grass to try to calm the next. The chaos redirects Tiger to the ice rink where his daughter is at and after clearing some wreckage, he attempts to rescue his daughter but is too late in doing so. However, Barnaby rescues Kaede, resulting in Tiger respecting his new partner. Kotetsu calms down Tony and manages to convince him to assist in a building collapse preventing casualties. Taking heed in his advice from Mr. Lloyds, Tiger convinces Barnaby, now calling him Bunny, to meet the rest of the heroes at the bar, though this is interrupted by being called to stop Robin Baxter after he steals the Statue of Justice. Robin is able to evade all of the heroes' capture and Bunny is able to deduce that Robin has the ability to swap places with people. After some more unsuccessful attempts in catching Robin, the heroes chase after the thief as he's escaping through a roller coaster tunnel. After a heated argument between the two, Bunny enacts a plan inspired by Tiger's words and Tiger convinces the heroes to trust Barnaby who manages to trick Robin and capture him. Barnaby realizes through the footage shown to him through Dr. Saito that Tiger defended Barnaby's plan against the heroes and made sure he was there for him in case he needed it, easing the tension between the two. Friction rises again when Tiger is brushed to the side while a documentary is focused on Barnaby. During filming, a bomb threat is issued in the building Tiger and Bunny are in and they soon locate it after Tiger remembers seeing a shady elevator repairman. Coming down the last two wires on the bomb, Kotetsu comes up with the idea to punch a hole through the roof while Bunny kicks the bomb through the roof. After Barnaby rescues Karina, also known as Blue Rose from Gunman, Tiger confronts her about her problems with being a hero after training. Although she initially quits at first, Kotetsu visits her at the club she's playing and remarks that his reason for being a hero is similar to her reason wanting to become a singer. This inspires her to help Tiger and Bunny with the crane that is about to collapse. As Barnaby's birthday approaches, friction rises again as Tiger is told he's always meddling and does things without thinking. To make up for this, he and the heroes try to organize a skit that will lead to a surprise party, but an actual next thief named Pauly interrupts the skit by stealing the Tears of Hercules. Tiger and Bunny are able to work together by using their good luck mode combo attack and Tiger earns Barnaby's respect by allowing him to arrest Pauly as a gift. Not long after, Tiger helps Fire Emblem clear his name after the robbers Barnaby stopped are killed by fire. After witnessing another attack not long after testing, Kotetsu later that night is chased by the same man who planted the bomb in a mech suit and is assisted by Fire Emblem and Bunny. The heroes catch up to the man later that night and Bunny notices that he has the tattoo with the same symbol he's searching for in the relation to the death of his parents, the organization Ouroboros. While holding Agnes hostage, the suspect is suddenly killed by the vigilante lunatic. 
Tiger finds out why Barnaby's so upset about losing that witness and soon after teams up with Bunny again while trying to take down Lunatic. The heroes start to make more appearances including one at the academy to gain back the trust of the people. Kotetsu inspires Origami Cyclone that his powers are useful which inspires him to save his best friend Edward from Lunatic. When Bunny is cornered by Lunatic, Tiger jumps in front of the attack taking damage. After being able to counter the attack and causing Lunatic's mask to break, Bunny begins to warm up to Tiger once again. The mayor decides to leave his son in the care of Kotetsu due to recent kidnappings who enlists the help of Barnaby and Dragon Kid. During this, Tiger reminds Dragon Kid to appreciate the gifts she gets from her parents and Barnaby opens up about the death of his parents. Although Dragon Kid and Sam get kidnapped, Tiger, Barnaby and Agnes assist in getting them back and Kotetsu mentions he's proud Pao Lin is wearing the gifts she got from her parents. While going on vacation back home to see his family, Tiger picks up a mad bear on the way and soon jumps into action fighting mechs that have attacked the bridge. Although he tells Barnaby to seek out Jake Martinez, the person who killed his parents, Bunny shows up and catches Tiger once again. However, the mad bears blow up resulting in many Ouroboros cards falling down. Cream, Jake's girlfriend, jams the signal and demands Jake be released from prison. The city negotiates while Tiger attempts to console and be there for Bunny regarding the situation while Origami pretends to be Hans fooling Jake and Cream. When the plan backfires, Tiger and Bunny rescue Origami but botch in their attempt to try to fight Jake resulting more friction between the two and Jake promising to release the city from his grasp if any hero can beat him. Kotetsu is the third hero to fight Jake and also loses as Jake can read minds and also uses defensive barriers offensively but manages to land a hit on Jake making him angry. While Bunny is trying to fight Jake, Kotetsu uses his 100 power to speed up his healing and leaves to help Barnaby with what he deduced about Jake. Tiger initially lies to Barnaby that Jake has super hearing and to use a flash grenade to defeat him, throwing off Jake when he's distracted by the flash grenade as Barnaby defeats him with one kick. When Jake tries to escape, Tiger dodges the blast causing the helicopter to fall and kill Jake. Barnaby trusts Tiger once again, calling him Kotetsu for the first time. Tiger and Bunny are revered for helping and are paired with Blue Rose for a concert and while chasing a stalker of Blue Rose, Kotetsu notices his powers are starting to weaken. While being bored of a press tour, an android named Sis created by Rodvong, a former engineer who worked for Barnaby's parents, goes rogue and manages to overpower Tiger and Bunny but the android is destroyed thanks to help from Sky High. After another counter with Lunatic, Tiger notices his powers are now only good for under 4 minutes instead of 5. After confiding in Ben, he attempts to catch Benoit but his powers go out causing him to lose the fight and not capture the criminal. As a result of this, Kotetsu makes good on his promise to go on vacation again and returns home but has a strained relationship with his daughter especially after Anju hurts her back. After a heavy storm comes in and causes Kaede to be trapped inside a shrine, Tiger uses his power to locate her and even when it fizzles out, he manages to clear the trees and reunites with his daughter. On the way back to resign from being a hero, he discovers that Kaede is a next and that she does love him being her father. However, things become complicated as Cream reveals Jake isn't the person who killed Bunny's parents and Tiger agrees to help Barnaby solve the mystery which bugs Anju as Kaede is having trouble controlling her powers. While Bunny overhears a conversation out of context, Kotetsu slaps some sense into Barnaby which makes him mad and confide in his mentor Albert Maverick who reveals himself as the true killer after being shown the picture from Samantha. Due to him also being a next, as he's altered Barnaby's memories before, he erases his memories once again. Kotetsu manages to avoid being taken out and have his memories erased by Maverick after trying to find Barnaby and realizes the pen he found is Barnaby's, deducing that Albert lied to him. As a result, Maverick erases the memories of all those close to him including Agnes, Dr. Saito, the heroes, and Barnaby, framing Kotetsu as the killer of Samantha Taylor which doesn't help that he mistakenly fell asleep at her house while she was kidnapped and taken care of by Maverick. While on the run, he manages to nearly convince Blue Rose that he really is Wild Tiger but false Wild Tiger manages to capture him. However, Lunatic intervenes knowing Kotetsu is innocent. After getting help from Ben, Tiger dons his old suit once again and confronts the heroes on her roof to try to convince them who he really is. Kaede shows up soon after, whose powers reveal that she copies the power of a next that she touches and got a head pat from Maverick, restores the memories of the heroes. After being told by Andrew that her father is Wild Tiger, Kaede also confronts Kotetsu for lying about his identity. While the heroes take on false Wild Tiger, Kotetsu gets his suit back and fights Barnaby to try to refresh his memory, finally breaking through to him by calling him Bunny. After bringing Bunny up to speed, Tiger and Barnaby confront the false Wild Tiger who is revealed to be another android by Rotvong as the android captures the heroes and Kaede. Kaede manages to break free and free the heroes and after a long fight, Kotetsu takes a blast while holding the false wall tiger and confesses to Barnaby that his powers are slowly going away. After Rodvong and Maverick show themselves, 
More HO1s attack the heroes, but Dr. Saito manages to reprogram them all into safety mode. Maverick disposes of Rotvong and soon takes Kaede hostage, but Tiger comes back from the dead and decks Maverick. After he's arrested, Kotetsu and Barnaby retire from being heroes, only to reunite once again while chasing criminals. Not long after, Tiger and Bunny take the second league heroes under their wing after Mark Schneider swoops in to buy out Apollo Media. However, Kotetsu is fired and Golden Ryan is appointed as Bunny's partner, resulting in both being promoted to first league. Tiger is initially fine with this as his powers are declining and welcomes his family to the Justice Day Festival. However, he starts to contribute, relieving Blue Rose to go help the other heroes fight the three next bent on punishing people. The second league then come to relieve Tiger from putting out the flames Fire Emblem is creating in his coma, who then suits up and is saved by Bunny not long after. Tiger holds off Lunatic as the aircraft goes on to try to hurt Mark Schneider. Lunatic backs off and Tiger assists in defeating the aircraft with the other heroes to save Schneider despite him ruining others' lives. After the battle, the city cheers on Kotetsu to keep being a hero with Tiger and Bunny becoming partners once again. In October of 1980, because of the track record Tiger and Bunny have working as a team, all the heroes are now working together as partners with Golden Ryan making his return along with new members Magical Cat, Mr. Black, and he is Thomas. Despite having some initial friction, Tiger and Bunny demonstrate to Mr. Black and Thomas that proper teamwork is important as they stop a next. After Subaru increasingly gets frustrated and reckless, Kotetsu gets through to him that all of them are heroes to save people, resulting in Mr. Black apologizing to everyone for his actions. Although Golden Ryan is suspicious of Blue Rose and Tiger betraying their respective partners, he helps the heroes catch the stalker bothering Blue Rose. Tiger and Bunny are also able to inspire Fire Emblem and Sky High to patch up their partnership by being more open with their communication. Kotetsu also inspires Bison to patch things up with Cyclone, resulting in the two being able to trust each other again. In a similar situation, he also teaches teamwork to both Dragon Kid and Magical Cat, even saving the latter's life on one occasion. When Kaede comes to visit with her friend and classmate Sarge to write an essay about her father, Kotetsu tries to do what he can to help, including trying to get a visit to HQ. After finding out she wants to visit the Hero Academy, he's concerned about her being a hero. However, he witnesses her helping someone out, saves her from falling, and promises to talk to her about it once he can wrap his head around the situation. After trying to help with Thomas and Subaru becoming partners again, an emergency is called for a robbery at the art museum. Bunny is soon put into the hospital after the next, who can touch things to give them explosive properties, touches one of his traps, and Kotetsu does what he can to visit and cope with his partner in the hospital. Tiger manages to corner the next, but soon realizes he has already been defeated. Kotetsu notices that dolls of the heroes are hanging over Bunny's bed, and they soon come to realize that they are being targeted by Hugon and Mugon, two powerful necks that defeated Vincent. Although Dragon Kid and Origami Cyclone corner one, he teleports with both of them out as the heroes arrive too late. Hugon and Mugon then take the drug developed by Barnaby's friend Matia. While asking for help from Yuri Petrov, who is secretly lunatic, on how to deal with Hugon and Mugon, the rest of the heroes are attacked by the duo at the training center. The two arrive at the aftermath as Bunny wakes up and is informed of what's going on. Tiger, Bunny, Magical Cat, Mr. Black, and he as Thomas challenge the two to a fight. The plan goes awry as the heroes are being defeated, but Kotetsu throws all of his effort into a multitude of attacks, taking a vicious counterattack. Barnaby also attempts to do the same thing, but is beaten back. However, both end up breaking Hugon's hands by overloading his body with power from their attacks. As Mugon is taken care of, Kutetsu restrains him through Thomas's powers. As he's distracted by Kutetsu's struggle, Thomas lets go while Barnaby delivers a final kick, causing Mugon to attack himself, resulting in the twins' defeat. After everyone makes up with each other, the two would take a well-deserved rest and drink at the hospital. Let's talk about the great qualities that Kotetsu possesses. The biggest one is selflessness, which is demonstrated countless times throughout the series, despite its sometimes act without thinking nature and ability to be brash at times. I'm only going to talk about a few prominent examples without dragging the video out because I do want to talk about his other qualities as well. The most obvious example of this selflessness is Tiger being a hero for a multitude of reasons. A promise to his dying wife Tomoe, helping people because it's the right thing to do and not for hero TV points, and to protect his family by keeping his identity a secret. This is what causes his strained relationship with his daughter, but later on gets partially resolved, which I will cover later on in this video. It was Mr. Legend who also directly inspired Kotetsu to use his next powers for good when he was able to stop one of the shooters from acting during the robbery. As shown in the beginning, Kotetsu is more concerned about saving citizens in danger and stopping criminals than suspense in good TV ratings. While it's frowned upon for heroes to cause excessive damage, Tiger considers it as a small sacrifice as the lives he's saving are irreplaceable. Something that happens twice on occasion in Season 1 is Kotetsu prolonging his vacation to put other needs before his. 
The first is when Barnaby is close to finding out what happened to his parents from the then presumed killer Jake Martinez, and he soon assists the heroes in fighting the Mad Bears piloting the mech suits. The second time is when Barnaby realizes that Jake isn't the killer and is having trouble remembering who really is the killer. Though the latter is because Kotetsu wants to retire, but the point is he's still putting others' needs before his own. Despite how important it is for him to reconnect with his daughter, Tiger sees that his partner is really going through a tough time and promises to stay by his side until they see it through together. Speaking of Barnaby, Kotetsu on multiple occasions has fought Lunatic in place of Bunny so they could achieve what they needed to. Whether that was saving Ivan's friend Edward, saving Bunny from being attacked by Lunatic, or distracting Lunatic so Bunny could save Mark Schneider. In fact, Kotetsu even jumps in the way of an attack aimed for Barnaby while unarmored, and still manages to deliver a counterattack so vicious that it cracks Lunatic's mask. Aside from Bunny, Kotetsu in both seasons 1 and 2 goes on to either mentor or help all of the heroes directly with their various personal problems and conflicts. The only two he doesn't necessarily mentor one-on-one -on -one but helps indirectly are both Golden Ryan and he is Thomas. The biggest act of selflessness Kotetsu displays is when he does his best Goku impression when holding H-01 down while Barnaby blasts it with the laser rifle. Despite his treatment by the higher-ups, most notably Alexander Lloyd's, something Kotetsu doesn't get a lot of credit for is his intelligence. Although Barnaby also has a similar trait for deducing weaknesses and how to stop the criminals on occasion, Tiger manages to deduce most, if not all of the major villain's weaknesses. With Jake Martinez, he deduces that Jake only knew his identity because he could read his thoughts, a second power he had along with the ability to use barriers as offensive attacks. As a result of this, Tiger approaches Dr. Saito for a plan involving a flashbang and lies to Barnaby knowing Jake would hear it in his head, thus giving them the upper hand. As I mentioned before, him being able to hold H01 in place so Bunny could take a shot to destroy the android was the only feasible way to defeat their enemy. Yuri hears out Kotetsu's plan which is something that does go on to work, separating Hugon from Mugon so they could not teleport and attack together. Although it seems like Kotetsu is going back to his old ways of acting without thinking and blindly rushing in, attacking Hugon over and over and going so far to completely knock him down with this hyper good luck mode attack was so the power would be too much for Hugon's body which was a long term plan. This was so effective that Bunny did the same thing when he noticed Hugon broke one of his hands on Tiger. As a result of this, Hugon became severely weakened and vulnerable to attack through a multitude of factors. Thanks to a keen observation by Tiger, Bunny, and Thomas, Hugon never attacked himself to charge his power, which was noted when Hugon was shooting himself to build up the power. The three then come up with the plan for Tiger to restrain Hugon with Thomas' help, and it's implied that Thomas let go of Tiger to pick up Bunny, and Tiger did his best to hold Hugon for the right amount of time for Bunny to attack, causing Hugon to attack himself. After being put into critical condition from his battle with Jake, Kotetsu uses his 100 power to rapidly heal himself, and if that's not using your power in unique ways, I don't know what is. Tiger also gets smart and dodges Jake's attack while holding him with this rope, which ends up hitting the helicopter. Tiger manages to dodge this attack for the first time as he couldn't do this in his fight with Jake, and technically Bunny is the only other person not to be hit by Jake's attack, though that could be because of Jake's aim. When Kaede is trapped in the shrine during the storm, Kotetsu uses his 100 power in another unique way. He's able to use his temporary sensitive hearing to detect where her location is to reach her in time. When Barnaby is having trouble trying to remember who the killer is, Kotetsu is the one to deduce that Jake isn't the killer and to also advise retracing his steps to see if he can remember anything about the day his parents died. After Bunny's memory is erased by Albert Maverick, Tiger deduces that the pin that he found in Maverick's office is Bunny's, though only deduces Maverick is behind it all when he's framed for the murder of Samantha Taylor. Even with his back against the wall and Maverick's amnesia powers working so well on the other heroes, Kotetsu is able to break through to Blue Rose with memories only he and she would know about to the point where she lowers her gun and also on the rooftop when he's convincing the other heroes who he really is. He also uses the similar strategy with Barnaby as they're fighting each other by using the locations they've been to together to try to jog his memory. In The Rising, after being knocked away by Lunatic, Tiger uses his ropes to hold the pincer limb so Barnaby can land a hit on the metal being controlled by Andrew or Virgil. Thanks to his partner's advice earlier in the movie, Kotetsu is also able to time his power just right to finish off Virgil in sync with Barnaby's 100 power. When facing the next that has the ability to stop all objects he touches, Tiger fakes the next out with a fastball which Barnaby is able to pick up thanks to their constant teamwork. In the parallel to when Golden Ryan stepped in to defend Barnaby from Subaru's accusation, it is his past experience as a hero that Tiger is able to get through to Subaru that everyone is there to serve the same purpose. Be a hero to save people because it's the right thing to do, not because of any selfish reason. This also goes on to pay off in Subaru's character arc later on down the road as we see in the finale in the fight against Hugon and Mugon. Kotetsu also goes on to deduce a lot of other miscellaneous things in the series. 
The fake articles surrounding Thomas, the doorknob being explosive, and the dolls that Hugon and Mugon made, with the ones on the floor being their initial attack against Rock Bison. Whether these are all from experience as a veteran hero or not is debatable, but I think it's safe to say that his instinct and guts are why he and Barnaby make such a great team. The third greatest quality he possesses is his determination. It's more than likely he incorporated this trait after watching his hero Mr. Legend many times in action, and it also has been a make or break factor in different situations. For example, he's still determined to fight criminals and help in situations despite his power decreasing all the way from 5 minutes to 1 minute as his arc progresses through the series. Even when his power runs out, he continues to throw punches over and over at Jake Martinez which also inadvertently causes him to do something no other hero has done yet, land a kick on Jake. Even before landing a hit, he refuses to give up and even tries to stumble out of the hospital bed on pure will alone, going so far as to using his power to recover quickly as I mentioned before. In regards to the battle with Jake, one of the more impressive moments is when he not only catches Jake from escaping with his rope from his wrist, but manages to do it with one hand while holding the other on his wound and still manages to dodge an attack from Jake. Speaking of not being at 100%, when Kotetsu reaches Kaede in time, even with his powers running out by the time he starts clearing debris, he's still able to throw tree trunks aside without his powers being active, as when Tiger and Bunny have their 100 power activated, their eyes glow blue and their body is also outlined in blue, which attests to how strong he really is without that power. Even despite all of his efforts being futile, Kotetsu doesn't stop trying to convince the heroes who he is, with some help from Ben, to the point that he manages to break through to Karina despite Maverick's power is still erasing her memory. Not long after, we see how resilient he is when he fights Barnaby over and over if he has to, and throwing himself constantly at H01 despite the capabilities of the android. One of my personal favorite moments is when he awakes after his exhaustion and defeats Maverick despite being heavily injured. In The Rising, despite being heavily weakened against Lunatic, he still manages to fight and show that he's willing not to give up to buy Barnaby and the other's time. We also see this against Hugon that despite taking insane amounts of punishment, Kotetsu is willing to do what's necessary to make sure Hugon and Mugon go down. Let's also talk about Kotetsu's dynamic with Barnaby and why they make such a great team. The movies and series do a great job showing us the highs and lows of their partnership, whether it's from their reluctance to initially team up to their eventual partnership, even when they are mad at each other. Despite Kotetsu not trusting Barnaby and stuck in his ways at first, they go on to learn from each other in many aspects and this is evidenced many times throughout the series. The first time we see Kotetsu really trusting Barnaby is when he takes an idea about decoys to catch Robin Baxter. Up until that point, Tiger had interfered and rushed in as he felt taking actions first and asking questions later, as people's lives were at stake, was a better approach than Barnaby waiting too long and caring about points to advance in the rankings. It is Tiger who manages to convince the other heroes to give Barnaby a chance, watching over him just in case he does need backup. Although it's more evident that he does this later on intentionally, this is the first time he also hands over the arrest of Barnaby to trust him to do the right thing. Kotetsu is willing to go so far as to put on an elaborate skit with the other heroes to throw a surprise birthday party for Bunny, showing that he does care about him and hands over the arrests again when they are pursuing Polly. It's also discovered during this situation that their good luck mode combination attack is what causes them to work together really well. Despite all of his constant meddling, as Bunny puts it, Barnaby also realizes that Kotetsu cares more about their friendship and sees him as an equal, not as just another co-worker. This respect is further gained when Tiger jumps in front of Lunatic's attack aimed for Bunny, going so far to take the blast and deliver a counterattack that breaks Lunatic's mask, as I mentioned before. It's clear that Bunny starts to care for his partner as he's walking alongside Tiger as he's on the stretcher being rolled into the ambulance and picks up the sash that was burned off of Kotetsu in battle. Despite being headstrong and always wanting to rush into battle first, Kotetsu actually starts to learn to be patient. One of the prime examples of this as, when mentioned before, he deduces Jake's actual superpower and comes up with a plan with Dr. Saito on how to stop him. The roles reverse as well when without physical action or dialogue, Kotetsu stops Barnaby from killing Jake. Although Kotetsu had to trick him to do it, he still had faith that Bunny would trust in his plan and make it work anyway. Following the battle, it's also the first time Barnaby ever calls Tiger Kotetsu, as he's usually just called an old man, showing a further sign of respect. Even before Jake got released from prison, Kotetsu was willing to put aside his own vacation just to help Bunny see through the case with Jake. Tiger also does this again when Barnaby realizes that Jake isn't the real killer and puts off his retirement as a hero to once again help Barnaby. Despite conflict over this later on, this shows that Kotetsu is truly selfless and cares more about his partner's needs than his own. To cheer him up, he also brings his famous shrimp fried rice to Bunny, who later insists on wanting to cook it for him so he can try his version. 
Before putting his vacation on hold, Barnaby also insists that his daughter would be proud of him and to be there for his daughter on the press tour and when he overhears Kotesu talking with Anju. When Tiger finally begins to retire, it's evident that Barnaby doesn't want anyone else as his partner and thus they both retire together. Until Kotetsu jumps back in the game and is saved by Bunny once again, which is something Barnaby constantly does and always has his back in. However, in The Rising, when Kotetsu is let go, he realizes that he has passed his prime and doesn't want to hold back Barnaby in his career, showing that he knows when it's time to hang up the hat and let Bunny have a career as a hero while he's still able to. Due to their partnership and the level of friendship at this point in the story, it is clear that Barnaby is bothered by this decision and is reluctant to work with Golden Ryan as he feels he is being disloyal to Kotetsu. Ironically, Barnaby notably starts to act more like Kotetsu. Lou Rose tells Tiger this when he asks why Barnaby didn't tell him about raising money for charity and she notes that he's going by Kotetsu's example, holding his own feelings in and becoming more like his former mentor. When seeing his old partner back in action, Barnaby is once again there for Tiger by saving his life and preventing him from falling to his death, though with a rough landing. Kotetsu is the one who decides to be a distraction to Lunatic, willing to fight him again so he can let the First League heroes take care of Virgil. As a result of these events, the partners become a team once again due to the demand from the crowd to see them together again, and the duo also become the inspiration for the other heroes to team up as partners as well. As we see in the first episode of Tiger and Bunny 2, even when the pair are at odds with each other, they're still able to work together without much communication and easily take down a next thanks to their trust in each other. When Barnaby starts to be hesitant about Kotetsu possibly betraying him to team with Blue Rose, it's clear that the look in his eye gives it away to Kotetsu that he really does care about being partners. Funny enough, Barnaby also no longer objects to being called Bunny and is even willing to go out for drinks as Tiger is used to giving advice to other heroes because of this. When Antonio and Ivan are at odds with each other due to miscommunication, they also split up to reassure both and to help the pair put their problems behind them. We also see Tiger doing his own way of coping when he feels at fault for the museum explosion as he's second guessing Barnaby's decision to go alone. Bunny is caught in the explosion and Kotetsu is often seen visiting him alone while also holding onto his glasses, watching over him. Although he's not there at the exact moment he wakes up, Kotetsu is presumably the first one there and brings him up to speed with both Hugon and Mugon. Last but not least, Kotetsu puts his trust in Barnaby when he's purposely attacking Hugon over and over, knowing that Barnaby always has a plan up his sleeve. From season 1 all the way to season 2, it's clear that their friendship and partnership has evolved over time and they've gone from reluctant co-workers to best friends trusting each other. They also tend to exhibit each other's qualities as they begin to learn lessons from one another and this is also why the anime works so well. The contrasting personalities learn to work together despite their different approach to saving people's lives. Last but not least, we can't not talk about one of the other interesting dynamics Tiger has, his relationship with his daughter Kaede. As I mentioned before, it's more than likely that he left her behind so he could be a hero as not only as a promise to Tomoe, but to also prevent his daughter from getting hurt in the big city. This has notably caused strain in the relationship as up until the end of season 1, she doesn't know that her father is Wild Tiger. This also causes her to be upset when Kotetsu forgets that she's no longer a little girl and is quickly approaching her teenage years. When Andrew hurts her back, he does his best to comfort her, but Kaede rebuffs this as he doesn't realize that she feels she will lose everyone like she lost her mother if her grandmother also passes away. Tiger's brother Muramasa makes this clear and this is also what brings them closer together as he realizes that he should have been around more despite doing his best to protect her. Although she hates the idea of the gift, while on his first attempted vacation he buys her a mad bunny out of the kindness of his heart. Even with his constant decreasing powers, it is the father's love that allows Kotetsu to save Kaede long after his powers go out, moving tree trunks with ease and embracing his daughter, as she realizes that he can be there for her when she needs him to be. One of my favorite moments of this episode is when Tiger realizes Kaede is a Nex and admires the drawing that she made of their family, showing that he will keep his promise and be a hero to Kaede, thus thinking about his retirement and wanting to spend more time with the family. When Barnaby starts to find out Jake wasn't the killer, this causes a great deal of conflict as Tiger wants to be there for his partner but has to explain to Kaede without giving his identity away why he has to stay longer in the city. Thankfully, when Kotetsu is wanted for the death of Samantha Taylor, Andrew confesses the truth to Kaede of why he's been away so long, causing her to not only respect and appreciate her father, but to go as far to attempt to help him by visiting the city on her own. Kotetsu's dream, which was to have his daughter admire him, comes true after Albert Maverick is arrested. In The Rising, Kotetsu also is grateful in a way for being fired as he's able to invite his family over to Justice Day and spend more time with his family. He tries to help her with inspiration with her poem and she also returns the favor, by inspiring him to be a hero again as she can tell he misses it. It's this pep talk they have that gives him the motivation to relieve Blue Rose of her duty and takes over putting out the flames that are being created by Fire Emblem. 
As we see in season 2, at her request, Kotetsu begins to take up yoga to be healthier and to please his daughter. She is also more appreciative of him as Wild Tiger and even wants to write her school paper on him, but concern arises when he finds out she wants to be a hero as well. She demonstrates this by taking Sarge's power and saving the construction workers, but is in danger once again when one of the workers is annexed. Thankfully, Kotetsu rushes to save her in time, and although he's not sure if he approves of her choice just yet, he promises to talk to her about it once he can get his head around it. This shows that Tiger knows like Muramasa told him, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and knows he has to set a better example for his daughter. Here are my final thoughts on Kotetsu and what we can expect to see from him in the future. Kotetsu is one of, if not, the favorite character of mine in the series. He's very relatable to me at this point in my life, knowing that while he's approaching an age where he may no longer be young, he still tries to do the right thing with what ability he has left. I'm glad as the series progressed, he got recognized for his abilities and efforts that he possesses. As mentioned before, he's been able to deduce the weaknesses and abilities of major opponents that have been valuable enough for the heroes to win said battles. Possibly due to his experience as both a veteran hero and a father, Tiger is also the one who frequently has words of wisdom for his comrades whether they're young or old, and despite his hero rankings, they know he's telling the truth and typically go on to act on his advice. Sometimes one has to make sacrifices in order to protect what they love, and nothing can be truer about Kotetsu when it comes to protecting Kaede. I'm glad that she eventually found out that while he did lie to her about being a hero, it was all for her sake and as a promise to her mother. I can't wait to see how Tiger gets along with Barnaby, especially with their most recent battle. And I look forward to seeing the story continue in either Season 2, Part 2, or Season 3, depending on how Netflix chooses to release it. I hope we also see flashbacks of Tiger leaving for the city and becoming a hero, as I feel like that's a gap that should be expanded upon in this story. The story is only going to get crazier considering how strong Hugon and Mugon were, so Kotetsu will need to bring his A-game to the table in order to keep up with Sternville City. Whether you are next or not, it's important to keep protecting what's important to you. That's why you should go with a trusted Sternbilt Hero TV sponsor like NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash strifethewarrior or use coupon code strifethewarrior to get a NordVPN to your plan with a huge discount. Here's why you need to secure yourself with NordVPN. You can use it to unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment websites that are not available here in the US. You can connect up to 6 devices at the same time with one account. There is no data logging whatsoever, and it works even in China. If you're out and about and using public Wi-Fi networks in places such as coffee shops and airports, NordVPN will protect you with double data encryption for increased anonymity. Origami is very good about slipping in and out, and that's why he's so underrated. He knows there's a time and a place for a proper attack. NordVPN works with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android, has a Chrome extension which is very user-friendly, and unlimited bandwidth. If you're not happy with it for any reason, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. NordVPN shot through the rankings in 2021, winning the Business Choice, Reader's Choice, and Best Tech Product of 2021 from PC Mag, Best Android VPN from Android Central, the Best All-Around VPN from Expert Reviews, Best VPN Service from Forbes Advisor, and App Development Team of the Year from App Promotion Summit. It's also the only VPN to get all the green checks on PC Mag. So what are you waiting for? Go to NordVPN.com slash StriveTheWarrior or use coupon code StriveTheWarrior at checkout to secure yourself with NordVPN. Shout out to NordVPN for giving me the opportunity to be an affiliate. Let me know what you guys think down below. Who's your favorite Tiger and Bunny hero? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment as these all help my channel grow. Be sure to check out and subscribe to my second gaming channel. I'm trying to get this channel to YouTube partner as well and supporting this channel also helps me support my main channel. Check out some of the new clips I've uploaded to this gaming channel as I'll be uploading more later on. Keep up with me on my socials via Instagram and Twitter. Shout out to my YouTube members, I appreciate the support. If you'd like to directly support the channel, consider becoming a member and enjoy perks such as behind the scenes updates, access to the VIP Discord, shout outs and videos, and more. Thanks for watching, stay beautiful, stay awesome, and we'll catch you around next time.